Right, what are we calling this? This is just ask ask me anything. Do you ever talk to fish? Um, I sort of I, I sort of imagine myself as a fish a lot of the time. Um, when I'm trying to catch fish, I, I, I sort of you know look at like here. I, you know, where where would, if I was a fish, where would I be? And how how do I decide where to be? And it's all about it's you know it's about comfort, it's about safety, it's about finding food. Um, but it's a it's a non-verbal thing. Fishing is you, when you're fishing, you are in a non-verbal space mostly. Um, so I, I tend not to verbalise, and that's actually why when you know when I'm on camera and when I hook a fish, why why if I ever say anything, it often comes out fairly nonsensical and gibberish like because I'm you know I'm not in that verbal space at the time. What's your most embarrassing moment? Um, if I told you my most embarrassing moment, telling you about it now would compound the embarrassment, so I, I'm, I'm just going to refuse to do that. But I did have quite an embarrassing moment on a shoot. It does happen occasionally. There are some sort of moments which are recorded which don't make the programmes, and I will just give a hint, and that is very, very often you forget about you forget that you're actually wired for sound sometimes, and uh, if you forget that you're wired up. But the other thing is, I mean, the sound recorders might have turned off, but if they're still there listening, um, you might say something or make some other auditory um, uh, signal, <laughs> which is picked up. Right, okay. Um, what would you do if you weren't doing River Monsters? Um, good point. Do you know, I think what I would be doing, I would actually be travelling to um, remote rivers and lakes in the world and trying to catch uh, big ugly fish out of those places. I'd sort of be doing the same thing but without, you know, without people like, like you uh, following me around and you know doing it without people like you would sort of it would partly make me sad but I say you I'm, I, although I'm talking down there there's actually somebody there and there and there and um, you know that would make me a bit sad but also be, it, you know I'd I like being solitary when I'm, when I'm fishing as well as, as being social. Will you marry me? Depends who sort of wrote that, really. It depends an awful lot on that, really. There's no name on it. I don't know. Probably not. Um, if you had a time machine, where would you go? Um, I often go the, the places where we make the programs. Um, I often think, what a shame! You know, what would it would be like to be in this place, not hundreds of years ago, but like fifty years ago, or make, say a hundred years ago, hundred years ago. The the scale of disappearance of quotes river monsters of you know large dramatic predatory fish around the world. Um, in just such a short period of time, when, you, when you're thinking of the whole context of, of the Earth's history, I mean, it, it, it is quite... Um, it, it doesn't give you much cause for sort of for, for hope, and, um, and it's not something that a lot of people are aware of, and, you know, in our own little way, we're trying to make people aware of that on the programme. The weirdest fish you have eaten? I, I, I thought I was going to say caught, but eaten. Um, I've eaten lamprey. Lamprey is, is a very weird fish. Uh, they are they're, they're very primitive. They they look almost like it's almost like a wormy thing about about that size. Um, they don't have a they don't have a backbone. They have rather cute little eyes, um, and it tasted a bit like mackerel, but without the texture. Maxure, mackerel has that very firm texture. Lamprey is is quite a soft sort of powdery flesh, but the taste. That sort of oily taste is very similar. So lamprey, the weirdest fish I've eaten. Who do you have nightmares about? Who do I have nightmares about? Oh yeah, Harry Pimer. There it is. Look at that for a fish. Look at that. And there it is. But does it weigh more than 150 pounds?